Hi, Tim Blankenship with Divorce661.com. Today we're talking about the forms necessary to file a default dissolution judgment. This is a series of uh, videos we're doing where we're going through the actual checklist, the court's checklist of what needs to be submitted when you file a particular type of case. Uh, in in uh, particular, the judgment forms, the final forms that you'll be submitting. So today we're talking about a default dissolution judgment. This is going to be when a response was not filed so you filed for a divorce, your spouse did not file a response, it's proceeding by default or a default will be entered and the judgment is prepared solely by you, solely by the petitioner. This means, this is what's called a true default case. So you filed, your spouse never responded and uh, they're not even involved in the case whatsoever. You filed a default at some point after 30 days or you're doing it uh, along with the uh, judgment paperwork, which is totally fine. So here's what you're gonna need. Um, by the way, I'm going to put a link in the in this YouTube video. You can just go down and get this link. It'll go to my blog. In the blog, we'll have a link to the uh, this actual checklist, and we and we suggest you attach this. Put your name at the top, and when you submit your judgment forms, you know check off these as you go. And uh, this will do two things. It'll help you keep track that you have the right forms, and it'll let the court know this is the type of judgment you're preparing. Sometimes they don't take a lot of time to look at these, and we'll just reject them quickly. If you submit this, it'll give the appearance at least that you uh, made a good attempt at getting this time. All right, proof of service of summons. You're going to need to send a copy of that. Uh, request enter default FL-165, your FL-141, uh, petitioner's declaration regarding service of preliminary declaration of disclosure. This is where you, after you filed for divorce, you did your PDDs, your preliminary declaration of disclosure. That was a schedule of assets and debts and income and expense declaration. You don't need to send all that in, just the one form, the FL-141, that says you complied with that, you, you, you uh, mailed out the documents to your spouse, and you filed the form with the court. Uh, declaration for default or uncontested dissolution, that's the FL-170. The judgment, the FL-180 and the notice of entry of judgment FL 190. That's going to be the core essentials of the case. This judgment uh, discusses a lot of other options that you may have. If you have children, you, there's several other forms you're going to need and it's all on here. If um, there's uh, child support or uh, spouse support, property, attorney's fees and costs requested, all of those are additional attachments. We're going to cover those in subsequent videos. Um, talking about the different form attachments and we also did another video talking about the proper order of submitting this, how to put these together, how to staple them, how many copies. So look for that video as well. This is Tim Blankenship with Divorce661.com. You can reach me direct at 661-281-0266. I hope this video has been helpful. If you're looking for assistance in your divorce, please feel free to give us a call. Again, Tim Blankenship, Divorce661.com, 661-281-0266. Hope to hear from you soon. Thanks.